So what is CIPRI? CIPRI is Common Public Radio Interface. So I'm just uh, in my pen. <coughs> so in legacy network, what happened? In legacy network, we are we are just this, this is our tower, right? This is our tower. This is our baseband unit. Here, all the protocol aside, RRC, RLC, mic, physical. Here, RF unit is there. What is RF unit? RF unit basically consists of oscillator, means, uh, means that RF unit is capable of uh, transmitting the electromagnetic signal and receiving the electromagnetic signal. So, so in in our in our uh, in our uh, current ORAN deployment, what we are doing? We are doing, we are just uh, we are just uh, deploying our CU in some some data center that is that is called means COTS based uh, data center hardware means generic hardware is there. Suppose, suppose if you are talking about in this is the our CU, right? DU is also uh, means uh, also we are deploying in some some server, but uh, as per as per ORAN, uh, we will discuss this thing in uh, next uh, uh, next webinar. We will discuss what is the tech, uh, technical aspect of uh, uh, DU and RH. So so basically nowadays uh, means ORAN people will agree. So means distributed unit can be 40 kilometer apart from RH. We will uh, discuss this thing in great detail in next session. So why 40 kilometer? We will discuss. So because that is out of the scope of uh, this webinar. So our DU is uh, uh, DU can be apart 40 kilometer apart from RH. Right? So that is first thing. So this CU 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 uh, CU is also there. CU is also centralized unit. But because these these all are the front front hall uh, front hall interface. So not front hall. This is the R means a uh, uh, front front interface. So between DU and RH, between DU and RH, here also here also we are doing same thing. Here we are using CIPRI CIPRI interface. CIPRI interface. So here what we are doing? What here in if you if you if you have some idea about uh, how the physical layer processing will happen. Suppose you have. 100 bit of data at uh, at RRC layer or or, or at uh, uh, PDCP layer. So that RRC layer data will increase means uh, uh, at five layer. If you do do five layer processing, that RRC layer data will be increased up to something 300 bit or something some more or some less means. Uh, but in order of uh, 200 to 300 bit, right? Because we are doing channel coding, CRC, CRC, all these things we are doing. So these things means all the all the physical layer processing happen at BB unit only. We just pass all those data at RF front. RF front will uh, just uh, take those data and create the electromagnetic signal. That's it. Previously, our RH is, uh, means uh, we have not much functionality at RH side. RH or RRU. But nowadays, what happened? Because our our backhaul capacity, backhaul capacity is not much, right? If your DV is 40 kilometer apart from RS, so you need to give connectivity by some some cable, some uh, some some uh, fiber cable, right? So fiber cable having not much capacity. If you if we do all the processing here and send all those data to this RS interface, right? So first constraint is this means you can if you process data here and uh, send over uh, over or over fiber cable and fiber cable uh, send it those data at RH and then RH will uh, just generate the uh, electromagnetic signal. But if you do this thing, then your 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 this this network means the, your fiber network will be loaded and might be some outage chances will be there. So what what next? What we can do for preventing this situation? For preventing this situation, so Technocrat come with came with one solution. That solution is ECP. ECP is Evolved Common Public Radio Interface. In in ECP, just hold on. I'm deleting all this thing. In ECP, <coughs> what we are doing? We are doing uh, some. We split it five layer into two part. 
physical layer into two parts lower file layer and upper file layer so upper file layer the task of upper file layer is done by bu bbu bbu or in this case open ran case du performed by du and lower file layer processing will be done by our rrh right so so whichever processing we are doing in in legacy network there's some processing we are doing a du side and send all those data towards rrh so your data is very bulky but in this case your data will be sliced down means your data means we are doing maximum processing at uh, rrh side so our our data data requirement data requirement means front hall requirement will be less in this case first thing second thing what is the second difference between ecp and cp protocol in ecp this is the first first technique we can we can um, decrease the flood of data means uh, for uh, over front hall interface so second is second is uh, uh, uh second is second second things we can we can uh, what is what is the what is the data uh, needed at our side that data is iq data iq data we will take separate session on this thing that means uh, um, for this thing uh, we need to know dsp technique of uh, our side uh, that is uh, direct, uh, means our our uh, discussion will be move some different direction if you discuss all this thing here only so what is iq data here so iq data basically is uh, some i uh, i means some co cosine component is i and uh, uh, cos uh, sine component is q so here here we are sending our iq data towards cpri uh, means ecpri interface so second iq data is same as uh, uh, you are uh, doing a uh, processing at cpri or uh, by using ecpri right so iq so next is next is they are the technocrat come with one solution compression of this this iq data that thing also happen at cpri interface compression of iq data how compression is done there are a lot of technique for compressing iq data nula compendium and uh, block floating point and floating uh, and uh, block uh, block uh, compression technique so mostly people are using bfp technique nula compendium is also a technique i will discuss uh, hold hold on some some minute i will discuss this thing block floating point and mula compiling <clears throat> so second technique is this just we can we can compress this data so our means nowadays if if uh, if you are talking about a uh, current communication system or legacy communication system maximum maximum uh, maximum uh, maximum uh, vendor is using uh, two technique means in wireless we are doing 16 bit compression a uh, 16 bit uh, iq iq data means 16 bit for i and 16 bit for q but but in oran we compress this this 16 bit and 16 bit data up to 9 bit so 9 bit is means around we are gaining 7 bit right so this thing is happen happen at ecp interface right so in ecp just i will discuss this thing in, uh, in after 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 uh, discussing the cpri ecpri what is the basic difference so basic difference will be in next slide <coughs> ecpri is the is the means a point to point interface but is uh, this is the point to point interface it's me means uh, from du to rrh there is no uh, means but in in case of ecpri we are just we are just sending ecpri data over a internet protocol or over a ethernet right we can use ethernet protocol or inter internet pro protocol so ecp is a, itself a packet that packet will uh, taken care by eth ethernet ethernet protocol or internet protocol so this is the, this is the basic difference and uh, here the master and slave port con uh, uh, concept is there but at ecp ecp level the master slave concept is not there there are some uh, there is no master port or uh, slave port is there so we can uh, so so this is the basic difference between cp and ecp next is networking function means here here basically cp cp interface if you you can go through with this this slide i will i will share to you this slide but just the whole idea is whole idea is in cp interface we are cp uh, cp is between I means some point to point connection but in ecp in ecp just here some space is there cp is point to point means this is your rrh right and this is baseband 
that you can see here. But in EC3, this is your DU, right? This is your DU. You can put this data at a front hall interface. That front hall might be uh, gone via some router. This is again next router. This is next router. And after this router, might be we can get at our RH. Okay. So here, here not point to point connection. It means our DU is not directly connected to RH. Our DU is uh, connected to RH via some routers, right? But here, our DU means BBU is directly connected with router uh, directly connected with RRH. This is the basic difference. So, so this is the basic difference. And at EC pre interface, EC pre interface, ECP, EC pre is capable of sending these kind of data: user plane data, synchronized synchronization data, and control and management plane data. So, user plane data means your real real IQ data. Uh, synchronization data means some PTP packet, uh, PTP packet or Synky packet is there. So that is uh, synchronization plane data. Control and management plane data. Management plane data means if if uh, if do you want to configuration if do you want to some configuration uh, at RS site at that time we are we are using management plane and that is basically uh, some net com session is there. That is uh, YAML and Yang model we are using. Uh, we are using this mostly Yang model for configuring our our uh, Remote device. We, that is, uh, we in next session. Next session we will discuss all those things. So here, uh, user user data is IQ data. Synchronization plan data is PTP packet. Simple PTP packet. If you have idea about PTP packet, just uh, PTP precision time protocol means just uh, just uh, syncing our our DU and RU with same time. And next one is control plane data. Control plane data is basically just controlling uh, how how IQ data. Means uh, uh, before before sending IQ data, DU will send the control uh, data, right? That control data having uh, provisioning li like how you can interpret this IQ data, right? This is the control plane data. So <laughs> these things can be embedded over in CIPRI, in CIPRI protocol. We we make this message, right? We make this message on how this message will transport to the uh, 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 radio radio unit or RH unit. We just use transport network. Transport network might be Ethernet, might be Internet protocol. If Ethernet base is there, so we are we are we are dealing with MAC address. If uh, if uh, we are using if, in real time network, we mostly we use uh, we send this ECP data over Internet protocol, right? So Internet protocol just we we make this packet and just uh, put it some IP address of uh, transmitter and IP address of receiver receiver. Right. This is the IP address of transmitter receiver, and here we put EC3 data. This is the EC3 data. Okay, so so if this is the EC3 data. We can send this data over internet protocol or over internet protocol by using fiber cable or any other medium. So this is the all about EC3 and C3. So next thing, what I have discussed. Next thing I what I discussed, how we can compress the data, how we can compress the data, IQ data over the over the, this interface, because that is the major requirement for uh, for for uh, realization of ORAN or uh, means uh, means easy deployment of ORAN. Otherwise, we cannot deploy uh, by our uh, means legacy backbone backhaul network. So next one is is uh, uh, compression of IQ compression of data. Means so your user, how we can compress the our user data. So, how IQ compression perform? Suppose, suppose uh, uh, you have you have I N Q bit, I N I N Q data. What is why what I represent? If you talk about Cartesian coordinate, means e to power i theta. Means our, basically our 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 constellation is like this: e to power i theta, a e to power i theta, a e to power i theta. Means our our constellation is this. Yes, I will share Ibrahim. This session I will share. So e to power i theta, right? So we can we can we, this is the Euler, Euler formula. We can cos theta plus a sine theta. Right? This is the i. This is the q. Right? So this this data having some value. That value is represented by i and q. Right? So how we can compress? We can compress 
in in block floating point in block floating point compression technique we are using mostly means uh, oren people will give a, a option for mula compendium also but we, i will not discuss mula compendium i am just discussing the block floating point compression in block floating point compression we have a technique what we are doing we are doing we are doing here we are just compress our data with uh, in in a block manner why why in block manner because in 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 in, in our our means uh, uh, in in our 5g or 4g technology we are sending data in uh, prb wise one prb consists of 12 resource element right so we are we this 12 resource element will um, form a block right so this block can be compressed by same 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 technique right so what we can do in 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 layman what what is the compression suppose your this means i and q is suppose i is this right? this is the actual value means uh, decimal value suppose some a decimal value is a if we if we it means that decimal value a is represented by 16 bit data right 16 bit 0 and 1 right it means maximum value will be if you talk about in 16 bit 256 something might be if you, you can calculate by 16 bit how convert 16 bit into uh, decimal format so that i data can be compressed how we can compress we can scale down suppose suppose i scale down this is the a amplitude is a so if we scale with some value suppose by 5 a by 5 we can go give a by 5 then your amplitude will be shorter so if your amplitude will be shorter then for representing that amplitude you require very less bit as compared to system bit right so but this thing should be conveyed to receiver also Ki, uh, we have compressed our amplitude so that things can be can be uh, can be uh, uh, can be communicated towards RS by control plane. This is this plane. So that's why before sending any IQ data, any user plane data, uh, do you always send a control plane data before sending user plane data? In that control plane, control plane will uh, clearly told to RS, hello RS, this is the compression technique we are using. This this number of bit is used for Mandisa. This number of bit is, bit is used for exponent. So 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 this thing. This thing is conveyed by control plane. So, uh, if we anyhow, we, if we are able to uh, compress, uh, means the means scale down our data, and at receiver side we need to scale up. So, so this thing in, in this uh, for this technique we will take a separate session. Uh, we will take means this this is just I am giving one simple example so that you can you people can realize all these things. What what is actual technology behind this but uh, this tech, this discussion uh, itself take around one means two hour three hour because uh, for this i need to <laughs> explain you what is the uh, i i and what is the q how we can means, uh, how we can uh, compress this data what is significant of uh, uh, mantisa and what is the exponent so these things we will discuss in in uh, in upcoming upcoming session. So as of now, just I'm 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 saying you we can we can uh, we can compress this data means uh, 12 uh, in in block wise we just compress this data and uncompress at receiver side. That is not normal compression or decomp uh, decompression which which we are using in uh, some software we are using right it means the compressing uh, zip zip unzip that is not zip unzip. We will discuss this thing. So. <coughs> this is the compression technique mostly we are using block floating point compression technique for compressing the iq data uh, over, over cpr interface right uh, 